one of the common things that we see on the tech line is that when these transmissions are shipped by ground, they're in a container, they're not on a pallet, so therefore they tend to take a little bit of a tumble. And we get uh, folks calling us on the tech line saying that the transmission seems to be stuck in gear. And they discover this after they've already installed it. So I highly recommend that you take the time row through the gears, check to make sure that you're able to get into all gears, spin the input shaft while you're doing it so that the synchronizers and the slide rings have an opportunity to, to mechanically uh, move. Now, for let's say for any reason you have a TKX transmission, those seem to be more problematic uh, in the area of bumping into gear while being shipped because it takes a shock and one of the forks and slide rings will be stuck in typically third gears. What we see most of the time is to verify that you're able to shift through all the gears and if for any reason you're not getting into all gears, give us a ring. We'll walk you through how to unlock it. It's actually a pretty simple process on the TKX. There's a cover here in the about this location. It can be removed and then you can pop it into back into neutral and then you're able to move it through. There's no harm in it. You just have to pop that cover off and now's the time to do it, not when you've got it in the car and you have no access to it and then you become frustrated after we give you that information. So again, uh, we don't have a shift lever on here, but just make sure that you're able to move it through its gears and, uh, and, and get into every gear, including reverse.